Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies, the second one. Um, this stage looks like it was completed, but that's because I think I accidentally completed it. Well, um, well, am I in the middle? What is, uh... How has it already started? Alright, I'm a little bit confused as to what is happening, but that's fine. We'll just restart. <laughs> But yeah, I have two files, the, the cross file and the pies file. Pies is where I practice for my LP. And I'm pretty sure I w meant to play this on pies, and I accidentally played it on cross. Meaning that it was completed, even though... Uh, unless it was... Uh, I'm, I'm even more confused now. I should really just look at my past recording and see if I'm even... Did I do 28 last time? I really don't remember. I think I was one away, right? Well, I mean, someone watching this would probably know better than me because they've, they've seen it more recently than I've recorded it, probably. <sighs> but alright, in this stage, uh, you're completely given your plants, so you don't get to choose. Choice has been ripped away from you cruelly. Alas. So he's stunned down there, that's good. What if I... I'm thinking... Thinking I want to put this here, that'll probably kill a regular guy. Let's see. Yeah, it'll shoot up. It'll hit him in that one square. Oh god, I'm hitting that guy now. I don't know if I wanted to release him, but... Let's see what happens. Then we'll put this here. He'll definitely be destroyed. Destroyed! And this makes sense right here. Alright, well, he might have actually eaten that plant. I don't know. So they're both gonna go up. Let's see if I can delay that a little bit. Because they're getting hit by my good old friend, the, uh... The Rotoscoping Raisin. What is it called? The Rotobega. That was what it was. <laughs> Mine could work if it was a raisin. It's not a raisin. What if... Okay. No, I need warming right now. Whatever. Let's just put him there. I think I like that. Yeah, because I'm... Oh, computer. Don't you even. No. No, computer. Don't you give me no guff. I don't want to hear it. I pay your rent. Living here rent-free, computer. Least you could do is run an app game for me on an emulator. Gar. So let's see. Put you cha. Put you cha, because these guys are gonna. Yeah, there we go. Those guys are gonna be biting for a while. And if he's gonna move up on that guy, so we want him to not be able to move. Okay. Uh. No one will be able to go here, actually, if there's a... Yeah, if there's a block here, he'll go up to that. But so, uh, putting that there is safe. Cool. Also, I'm noticing there's not a tremendously large amount of... freezing things, so unless those guys come and start throwing snowballs at me, I might not even need the heating up plants. Which would be nice. Alright, this is definitely working out. Oh god, so many bucket heads. Can we thin the herd? Can you stop telling me that... freaking... PDF reader is ready to update. <laughs> All right. Uh, no one's gonna go here either, so I can put this here. And unfortunately, there is no. I don't have any cherry bombs. I, I'm really starting to like the cherry bombs like a whole lot on a lot of these stages. So I'm definitely missing that. Let's put this here and this here. Excellent. <laughs> that power up is incredibly powerful, isn't it? Like, how much damage does each one of those shots do? It seems like the first one always murders someone. Is, like, the other ones just for, like, a Gigantor? Because I don't... Like, it seems like the first shot was piercing through bucket heads, for God's sake. Oh, also, I found out... Because <coughs> someone actually told me this crazy combo with the, um... The, the spring beam and those, um... Oh, I'm gonna have to edit out a cow in the middle of this. Uh, the spring bean and the, uh, blower plant that blows away flying guys, which I don't have yet, but it was in the first game. It's like a four-leaf clover. Um, apparently, anything in the air is susceptible to, like, blowback attacks. And blowback, there, there's another plant that does that, and that's the Hurricane, which has been shown on other stages. It's a, um, it's not premium because you don't need to pay actual money, but it, you pay gems for it. And... Apparently, those can blow away flying guys also, so the Hurricane is actually more valuable on this stage than I realized. And it's interesting that they don't really set up situations where it makes that obvious, but I, like, accidentally blew away a bird with one, and I was like, oh, that's really helpful. 
Wish I had realized. Yeah, all right, they're getting they're getting up behind my defenses, which isn't great. If I can put this there. Nope, there's something there. Never mind. I just need to hold out a little bit longer. Not even that much longer, just a little bit longer. Don't know what I can do about that Neanderthal. Don't know what I can do about those guys up there. Actually, I can delay them, because again, delaying. <laughs> Don't need to kill, just need to delay until approximately right now. And we'll be fine. For this is the final wave. And right after this, I'm going to have to check my recordings just to make sure that this is the proper state. Uh, I do like um, Camtasia. The issue is that their video files aren't viewable in anything but Camtasia until you compress them. Which, for perhaps you can just open the thing, so it's, it's actually pretty annoying to check things. But I think I've delayed enough. Let's speed it all up. I don't care about killing that... Uh, frozen food section down there. <laughs> that future museum objects display of tiny imps. Because lawnmowers also mow ice. As do beavers on wheels. I was wrong. Um, I was wrong. So apparently <laughs> lawnmowers do not mow ice. I didn't know this. Well, let me let these guys through as fast as possible, then for God's sakes. Oh god, this is a problem actually. Never mind. Stop. No. Stop. Here. Alright, never mind. Go through. Because <laughs> that guy was going to come up and there wasn't going to be anything to stop him. That's why I was worried. But we're good now. You can just stop right there. See if I can kill... What if I just put this on him? Will all of them hit him? I think they might have. You might have been getting hit by four there. And this guy should just die in a second. Yep. <laughs> As I mentioned, if the stage ends and those guys are there, they just die. Do, 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 do. So now I find out whether I have to go backwards, one, or whether we go to the boss. I'm pretty sure we're good. So I'm gonna go to the boss. Let us see what's going on here. Okay, nothing much. I have a lot of powered up plants. Uh, this boss, by the way, is incredibly annoying. <laughs> and... If I have power-ups to beat him, I'm sorry, but I'll, I'll say the basic strategy. So far, no one in the comments has, like, mentioned that they mind if I use power-ups or not, but I don't know. I don't know if they even asked for feedback on that. Greetings. Dr. Zombos have prehistoric question for pitiful plant friends. Why you hunt for taco? Is taco all it cracked up to be? Could it be trap? Could it be trick? Chew on that. <laughs> Penny, my taco? User Dave, ignore the taco, ignore the taunts. It's time to fight Dr. Zomboss. It is indeed. I don't even remember this boss, which means... I mean, I wonder if I just dropped a bunch of bills on him the first time I encountered him and left, because... As I've mentioned several times, this stage was released quite late in the Plants vs. Zombies cycle. And at that point, it had been, it was a lot easier than a lot of the stages that had come before it, so I think I just blew through it. But the conceit of this guy, which is really annoying, is that he has this damn ice wall in front of him, and unless you get rid of it, you can't damage him. Now, you can use a hot potato to get rid of one block of it, which is very cool. Uh, oh, this is powered up also? Well, this might be kind of easy. Uh, however, when you, when you de-thaw the ice, it also usually, like, guys come out of it, <laughs> as you can see. But he's already taken a little bit of damage. The fact that I have a three-peater charged up looks like it's helping a lot already. So that's good. Good. All of those, like, hit him. But yeah, just you just gotta save the hot potato to melt the ice, and you're good. Because then you can actually get through to him. And I'm doing... the first, When I was practicing this, it was not going anywhere remotely this well, so... It's all good. Wow, I didn't activate the... Act, <laughs> it didn't activate the plant food power! So if I want to use the plant food for those knockback guys, I can't do what I just did. Roar! How do you like that for damage, MF? <laughs> that was good. 
So yeah, I guess I can just put those three Peters inside of his wall and they do incredible damage. Roar! Alright. I mean, did it do incredible damage? Maybe he doesn't take damage until this point. I think all the ice around him needs to be away. This boss is actually pretty hard, guys. I think that free Peter actually messed up everything. <laughs> so sorry about that. But, you know... Let's unfreeze. Oh god, now he's got two layers of ice. It's just they're not even... They're, they don't even seem to be able to do too much right now. So at this time, I'm gonna wait for uh, him to be stunned before I... Well, never mind. I have three of these. I might as well use one of them to help with the stunning. Yeah, I think that ice in the back needs to break or something. Good god, they're giving me so many three Peters too. This is insanity. All right, he's on the ropes. Take this! Look at that ludicrously large amount of damage because all of the peas hit him. Yeah, if I didn't have that, if I didn't have that boosted, that would have been way harder. Milt down. How am I getting that achievement now? How did I not get it previously? Very weird. Well done. We have defeated Dr. Zomboss. And his attempt to make me question my taco. User Dave, our journey through time. You know it is about more than just a taco. I suppose you are right, Penny. It's also about... Ha! <laughs> Dr. Zomboss not defeated. Dr. Zomboss crawl back from brink of destruction. Dr. Zomboss return when you know expect him. Bring big surprise. Dr. Zomboss stop speaking about self in third person now. Goodbye! Look, anyone can weaponize a mammoth, but... Not everyone can travel back through time, see the most amazing things that no human alive has ever seen, and still fixate on a taco. Therefore, Dave better than you. Also, let's pinata party. It's a party. Huh. That looks pretty basic, except there's buccaneer zombies, so I think I can expect some people to swing in on ropes. Yep. That was expected. Stop you for a bit. You are the threat. Oh, it's a squash! The squash used to be a plant that everyone could enjoy. And then the Fire Nation attacked? That didn't even make any sense, but it's a premium plant now. <laughs> you have to buy the thing. Even though it's incredibly useful and it sucks that you have to do so, but plop. That's all I can say about that plot. Looks like they're giving them to me specifically to deal with bouquet heads, as they're called. In I don't know what accent that was, so I can't attribute whatever fake country it's from. Latvania. And... Oh, are there two zombies here? Yeah. Whatever, I can't worry about that. Come on! Oh, damn, I was hoping he'd get a few more than that. There is a plant food inside of that bucket head down there. That'd be very good to obtain if possible. Oh, good. I was really hoping they'd give me another one of these or I don't know what the hell I would do. Here. Also, I'm completely willing to drop some bills on this stage if it starts going badly. Also, can we please have some plant food? Don't jump too far forward. Well, I just literally told you not to do that, but alright. I guess you're just the spirit of rebellion. Good, this should kill him. Because now, I can use the squash plant food power. I just need to time this right. There we go. I did not time it right. <laughs> Damn it. I could really use that squash plant food power. Um. Hmm. Oh well. Um. Nah, let's we'll let that one fall. That'll be fine. Squash, please. There it is. All right, squash plant food power. Roar! It take it just hits two additional targets. I, I was hoping it would, you know, hit one of the harder ones, but instead, ice them. I'm not that okay. Get him, get him, get him. Yes, killed the right guy. Um, I guess the squash thing not really that worth using because I can't control where it goes, and it can easily go to something that's not much of a threat. That being said. 
Wham! Three bucket heads. Doesn't get much more effective than that in this thing, it looks like. And that slowdown is because of the accidental drop down menu thing. I do, I try to, even like when I'm conscious of it, I'm still gonna hit the damn thing occasionally. Ooh! Let her rip! Wintara! Melinzo! Good, these guys are encroaching a little bit farther than I like. Let's squish them. Um, actually, let's squish these guys, because to be honest, this is the only lane that matters. <laughs> they get through there, there's going to be problems. they get through anywhere else, not so much. Speed it up. And by that I mean speed me up. You guys are still slow and frozen. And will remain so as long as those guys don't die first. Um, delete. Replace. Now they shall remain so no matter what. A freeze, a freeze. <laughs> he couldn't freeze because he had butter on his face. Also, you are not going to be taking another step. <laughs> All right, give me rewards. Wham, wham, wazzle. Ooh, ooh. You'll notice I have a decent amount of gems, and it hasn't been that long since I recorded the last episode. But um, it's very nice, very nice. And I, I, I haven't checked the recording, but I'm just gonna assume everything's fine. So I destroyed the the tusk, uh, tacophony. I don't remember what it was called. Whatever. Um, all right, so also, you know what the difficulty rating? So we're still on three, supposedly. When does it climb? Okay, I'd agree with that. Yeah, fair enough. The, these are actually, yeah, these are actually pretty indicative of how hard I would say they are. So, cool. So it's not going to get crazy until we get to the Dark Ages, and even then it wasn't that hard. But let's go to the Lost City. Discover the Vanished... City of Gold, where sun is plentiful and misplaced zombies abundant. I mean, abound. Abundant still works. Use special tiles for extra sun and blah 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 blah. Unlocked. <laughs> you know what? How about I reset my computer because... Ooh. That happened a little bit slower than I think I would have liked. Alright, computer hopefully recombobulated. Which is the opposite of discombobulated. Oh well, they, all the quests are for modern zombies, I see. So I have a lot of gems. Do I have enough gems to buy what I want? If I do at the beginning, that would be amazing, and I think I do. It's one of my favorite plants that I will not just be using at the Mayan Age, but it is introduced in the Mayan Age. Um, yep, the Lava Guava. I would indeed like to purchase this. So there goes like all my gems, but that's fine. The Lava Guava is indeed a worthy recipient of my hard-earned gems. I earned those gems by watching ads for many mobile games. There's one mobile game that I wanted to play and I, I kept on... I've actually been watching more ads than normal because I can't remember the name of the game and they won't show me that ad again. It doesn't even look like that good of a game. I just had an urge to try it. And I, you know... I can't even tell you anything about it because I don't <laughs> I don't remember what it was called. Whoa! Welcome to the jungle! User Dave, this is no ordinary jungle. A scan of my records indicate that this is the fabled Lost City. Historical texts state that the sun was worshipped here. Resources should be plentiful. I suggest that we try planting on the gold tiles that we find here. They should continuously generate sun as long as they have plants in them. Lost City? This is it, Penny. We found it! Where else would I find my lost taco except the lost city? Your continued fixation defies all reason or logic, User Dave. So, I mentioned there were two conceits of this level. One of them is to use all your power-ups at once. No, this is obviously not it. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Let's get rid of some of these on stages that don't matter as much. Mm. Also you, and this. Uh, but yeah, one of the conceits is that there are gold tiles, and if you plant on those gold tiles, then victory, or rather the equivalent, I don't know, I'm just taking things at this point, uh, you. Um, it's like you planted a regular sunflower, like it will, regener it will generate sun like a sunflower. So if you plant a sunflower on the gold tile, it's like you get a boost of 50 sun for that flower, which is quite nice. And it makes setting up 
it makes setting up your sun resources way easier. So you see, you instantly get one for the first time you plant on it, and then it's, like, activated. And then after that, uh... Like, so you, like, can't destroy this plant and then replant and then get another 50 sun. You have to wait an, incre an increment of time. Like, eventually this will produce another 50 sun. I'm not exactly sure when. Yeah, there it is. It looks like it's about the same intervals as regular sunflowers produce, so... It's essentially like having six extra sunflowers just waiting to be activated. If I am correct. Wham! That's good. But yeah, this is, you know, this is the first stage. Nothing crazy is gonna happen. Should be absolutely fine. Just gonna put you out here. Generating a lot of sun already. So you know what, I'm gonna put this watermelon here. And it did not give me extra sun. It is, however, setting the, uh, the countdown to give me extra sun eventually. And put you here. Yeah, with these power-ups, it's gonna be... This stage is gonna be a cinch. Quite rather, rather cinchy it will be. Put you there. I'm just gonna plant this right under you. You can chill here. Yep. And we're gonna put this here. Didn't put anything to activate that, huh? Uh, how about this? Oh, there was something there initially. Alright, it just got destroyed. Let's put that there, because why not? <laughs> Let's electrocute the masses. Hey there! Smash, smash, smash. Stage eviscerated! You see that? How oh, I cleverly made sure that wouldn't get killed. <laughs> Could have gone either way, actually. They might have been able to kill that in time. Hey, buckety! Buck, buck, buck. Oh! Pfft. Alas, the bucket head was a bit too far ahead. But not too far ahead for that. Put you there. Put you here. Let's plant some mines. That's right. I know how to deal in ancient Maya. It's not. <laughs> you know where the Mayans come from. There we go. New plant. Weird plant. Staple plant. It's pretty good. So, this is a weird plant that has three different forms. And the forms are dependent on how far away from your base that it's planted. Oh, they're showing it right now, so I don't even have to explain it. My sensors indicate movement incoming from above. Maybe it's the presence of the sky! The, the chances of that statement being true are statistically irrelevant. I believe that it is a new form of zombie. We should be cautious of unexpected guests. So, I don't entirely... Oh, it's that guy, isn't it? You used to just be able to click on a zombie and it would bring you to the uh, encyclopedia entry, but those days are long gone, I'm afraid. It should also maybe have a little tab to organize zombies by world so you can actually find the ones that you're looking for easily. <laughs> Instead of having to scroll like this. Ridiculous. Drops in past defenses. He faked his pilot license and figured nobody would notice. But they did. Well, <laughs> that's a, that is a thing. So... I just have to watch that. No, stop. You already you already did it. Go away. I was just trying to get some knowledge. I was trying to drop some knowledge. So those three things are the same plant. They're just in different forms because of how far or close they are. And we're just going to use these. I just like, again, I've said before, I don't like to delete the plants, but I'm totally cool just wasting them. I'm strategically not using the lava guava until they are introduced in the storyline. And then I will have it. It will be mine. So this, this, hmm... Spring a wall, and I, I don't know. I didn't really use the bean, even though I brought it last time, because the uh, the mines were just kicking so much ass. I guess I used the bean a little bit. So we got three tiles here. But yes, in this stage, the plant doesn't attack, and it gains extra defense. Now, not a lot. It is not as strong as a walnut, but it'll stop a zombie for a little bit. Uh, on this stage... Same thing, it'll stop a zombie for a little bit, but I think even less time. And it only shoots one, so it's essentially a pea shooter there. Here, it is a repeater. So, I mean, that's pretty much its forms. It either shoots twice, shoots once, or is a very crappy walnut. So you notice that pilot guy just dropped there. Let's make it irrelevant. Cause, oh, look at, look who has a little bit of extra health. 
Well, aren't you sneaky? All right, more of them are coming. But I need more sun. Whoop! <laughs> and despite the fact that they have extra health, when they're hanging like that, they can't move and they still get hit, so... I'm assuming they gave them more health because it is possible to kill them before they even drop and do anything useful, those pilot zombies. But yeah, so you already have to have quite the arsenal for that to be the case. There we are. And... That... So, I mean, I probably have enough sun production, to be honest. I mean, not even more honestly, the, the power-ups are going to make the stage not matter. <laughs> but, you know. Doesn't mean I shouldn't try. Doesn't mean I shouldn't try. Just in case something dumb happens and then I have to eat my words. Here. I like I'm just using the power-up then I delete the plant because it doesn't matter. See if I can kill these pilot zombies before they land. Well, I killed one of them. Now his headless corpse is hanging down here, which is pretty morose. Appropriately morose. Uh, let me show the power-up for this. It's not good at all. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. It's just... It doesn't even kill... Uh, it might kill bucket heads, but like it doesn't super kill them. Here, let me see here. Uh, also, no matter where you use the plant food, it's the same power-up, which I think is disappointing. Let's see here. Okay, it is enough to kill a bucket in, but it's just, you know, when you compare it to, like, the fire pea that just literally destroys anything without even damaging them, it's not it's not as good. But, you know, it could be worse. But yeah, wouldn't it be cool if each form also had a different plant food power? I guess that's too much to ask. Beep, 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 beep. Alright, so most of my power-ups are used up. There won't be any more shenanigans, except I do have one more power-up, don't I? Hmm. Yeah, I do. <laughs> ah, screw it, I beat- I, this will just be a celebration of me beating, uh, the Frozen Lands. It's a celebration of carnage, really. You guys are so talky. We are facing considerable threats, User Dave. I suggest that we retaliate with tremendous force. More forceful? That's it. I'll give him a stern talking to. I was referring to the Lava Guava. Its explosive blasts leave behind dangerous magma. That sounds even better! First a stern talking, then some lava. So this is where it's introduced in the story, which means I will be using it regularly after this. Um, lava Guava is an amazing plant. It is really, really good. One blast can't quite destroy a bucket head but it can destroy a cone head to give you an idea of how the blast is and it creates a blast in a radius like a cherry bomb so let's just show you boom so this burns like that'll destroy regular zombies i think that aren't in the same lane actually let me test that but the point is that it leaves lava behind for a little bit so then zombies walking over it also die that's really its biggest strength so i would like there to be a situation where um where there were zombies, like, around, uh, so I could see if it actually does kill normal zombies in that initial blast. I think it does, but I don't know for sure. Okay, this will be good. So we'll put it here. See the effect it has on a bucket head. Yup, it killed all the normal zombies, and it severely wounded the cone head. So it's just, it's just very, very effective. Note that this is how much it's gonna do to a, uh, bucket head. Not as much, but I'd say probably about half health. And two blasts should definitely kill him. Yeah, more than half health, because he lost his bucket, like, instantly there. So, Lava Guava's great. And its plant food is also great. So, let's see. This essentially creates a lava strip all in front of it. It only goes, looks like, four, because I don't think it went all the way to the back. So, they're taking damage as if they were stepping on the lava. Which is, you know, quite a bit of damage, indeed. <laughs> And then, it doesn't even use up the Lava Guava, so they still have to step over the thing. But this is essentially like a, um, a, a premium plant stage. They have those. If you go to the quest log, it'll be like, try out a premium plant. And it puts you in a situation that would, like, not be too easy to do. But with the premium plant, it's usually very easy. Though sometimes I still fail those stages, and I'm like, hmm, your plant's not so good, huh? But it's really just because I screwed up. But still, it's, it's nice to blame them. 
Because then, you don't have to face your own inadequacy. You just blame everyone else, and then everything's fine. Never face up to the things that you did. It's just the way it works. So... <laughs> it's the way to live your life. So is this... Wow. <laughs> that just moved up a lot. I killed a bunch in a small amount of time. Let's put you here and you here. Get a little double explosion action. Alright, and combined with the fact that they're getting pelted from the back, that did quite a bit. So this... Let's put you on. Hopefully I'll hit the guys above and below. And I did indeed. <laughs> he lost his bucket and was destroyed. Let's do this, even though it's not the best strategy. Put it there. Yeah, so it's three... There, there's nine blocks in a Plants vs. Zombies stage. So the first three has this form, the second three has the mid form, and the last three have the total defense form. To give you an idea of the behaviors of this plant. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. Oh my. Oh god. I, I just want to shoot lasers. I know it's not that effective, but I just want to shoot an entire screen of lasers. Hmm. Alright. Ah. Let's just do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I almost made it to all five. But not quite. But look at that. Shouldn't that have cleared the screen way more? Like, so many other plants would have done a much better job of that. <laughs> Definitely the lava guava would. Observe. Uh, well. Let's put that there. Let's. Oh, I was gonna say let's see how long it takes him to eat that for science reasons, but uh, he died. He lost his head and was incapable of helping me due to the fact that he was no longer able to eat. Could really use a guava up top. Guava up top would like a thank you. Guava up top. Wham! Excellent. <laughs> And they were spending time eating this thing. Just gave me more time to kill them. Oh, pfft. I was expecting it to just explode despite the fact that there wasn't a zombie there, just because there was a zombie under it. But that is not how it works. The volcanis... the volcan... the vol... What do I want to say if it's like volcano-like? Vol volcanic. Yeah, that's it. The volcanic lava guava. Whee! Volcanivis, as I was trying to... It's a vol canvas. Woo! I think that's good for this episode. I think we had a nice introduction by using all of those power-ups. <laughs> so the only power-up that I have left is the cannon. And I am okay with that. Well, I'm g Ugh. You. <laughs> Not very useful. So I'm going to um, watch all these ads and hopefully get more gems. But that's mainly just so I can find out what that game is. It's a stupid game, too. You play, like, these stupid little mini-games. It's just for some reason I want to play it, and I know I'm going to get bored of it instantly. In any case, that's neither here nor there. I am Cross Knights. This has been Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. We are on the Mayan stage. This is a little preview of what are they going to give me. They're going to give me that. And they're going to give me, uh... going to give me that. That might be it. I think that's... I don't think there's any other Mayan plants, are there? Oh, there's that. That's not the best one. This is a uh, plant, like, is specific to this stage. Yeah, then we go all the way to the final, but, you know, that's going to take a little bit to come out, I think. I am Cross Knights, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.